Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Irish, and I am going to show you guys officially a little game called Warframe. Uh, this might look familiar to some of you if you caught my very first video where I was screwing around with sound and trying to figure out some frame rate issues. Um, this is the game that I was playing. It's called Warframe. And I didn't really think it was fair. The, the first video I don't think really showed it very well. So I wanted to give you guys an official look at Warframe. Um, Warframe, if you've seen any of the trailers, it, it, first off, it's a free-to-play. It's a very fun game for a free-to-play. Um, if you've seen the trailers, you are basically ninjas called the Tenno. And it's basically like the future meets ninja. And you have guns, you've got swords, you've got all kinds of cool little moves that you can run around and do. And it's a lot of fun. There's, um, I'm just going to do a brief overview. You have an inventory and management system where you can view all your guns. You can. This is the coolest part. You can add mods to your guns that add different effects. So, like this one, 75% damage to my rifle, 50% piercing damage, 45% freeze damage, 125% crit chance, plus 25% ammo maximum. So, I mean, you guys get the idea. So, you can do that for each of your guns and your weapons, and you can also add mods to your actual Warframe. Uh, there's obviously a friend system where you can add your friends, play with friends. There's a market where you can purchase everything. you got your Warframes you can buy. Um, you can't, like a lot of them you can see there's a, a two different kinds of currency. There is the currency you get in game credits and then there's platinum I think they call it. And platinum is purchased with uh, money, real money. And as you can see all of these are purchasable by real money. However, if you want to, if you don't want to put money into the game, they offer another option and that is to buy the blueprint of the either they, they do this for the weapons and equipment too um, you can buy the blueprint and get all of the items required and craft it so it's really really cool I mean, they give you the option they don't force you to buy crap and that's actually a really big thing to me and then the foundry is where you craft it all so as you can see I've got a couple things going I'm building a new warframe and uh, I'm also building a uh, you can have like a little pet type thing and he helps you out um, one of the other things that's really cool is you can choose how you want to play each level. If you want to go solo, private is where you play with friends only, and then online is where if you choose a location, it'll automatically try and party you up with people. Um, and then you obviously got your character management, all kinds of stats on just your guns you use, how many kills you've got, headshots, all that kind of stuff. And then here is what the, it's the solar system that you're basically roaming through and it's actually our solar system you got mercury venus earth they added in a few that i don't think are in our solar system um, mars yada yada you guys know the planets so you go through and you basically just do missions i'm going to do this one solo just so i can show this to you guys and there's little special missions that you can do that offer increased rewards you get credits and all that extra credits and all that kind of stuff so we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive right into it and I'm going to show you guys the actual combat. I'm going to try and do some of the special stuff you can do. It's really fun. The fighting system is really cool. You can skip these cinematics. I wanna f <laughs> the funny thing is you always drop in through the vents if it's in a ship. It's, it's kind of weird. So as you can so as you can hear, she's got a uh, um, so as you can tell, she gives you an objective, lets you know what's going on. Um, I'm fighting these guys called the Grenier. They're basically the humans, and we've become an oppressive, like a, a galactic oppressive, I don't know, race. <laughs> So, and we're obviously, as you can see by their suits and whatnot, we're technologically advanced in this in this time frame. The weapon I'm using is a minigun. It's not terribly accurate, as you can see, but it works really well. All right, so now I'm stuck to using my pistol because oh shit, get off me! Come on, this guy's got a shield. Ah, oh, you can slice through it. Oh, well, that's one of my special moves, by the way. Uh, the race that I'm playing, well, not race, but class that I'm playing. It's called the Excalibur. It has a uh, 
charge move that slices down and, or cuts down all targets in my way. Oh, I ran out of energy! <laughs> so if you jump and do melee, you can do that and you can start cutting the shit out of them. Yeah. Ha. Ha. You got owned. Shit. Out! Oh shit, there's a minigunner, I heard him. Shit! Ah! It's pretty brutal. These special missions are usually a lot more difficult than the regular ones because they scale with you. Uh, my health and shields are up in the top right corner. You guys can't see them, but I'm actually getting messed up pretty bad here. Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> Good God. I can't wait till I get my new... Uh, my new Warframe. It's uh, It's got like three times as much armor as this one, and it's got more shields. I'll make this way easier. And as you could guess by the name, I mean, it's, it's Rhino, so I'm meant to get in nice and close and on their face. Ow. Oh, that's why I'm getting messed up so bad. On some of the levels, they have special things happen. And on this one, uh, it, the freezing cold is cutting my shields, my maximum shields, in half. So... For obvious reason, that makes this a little bit harder. It's cool, you can kind of hear them communicate sometimes. So she'll, uh, that big mini gunner, the heavy gunner that I just ran into, she just screamed reloading. And if you're listening for it, you could charge her and try and kill her while she's reloading so she doesn't blast your face off. And she tries to keep you informed on what's going on. If there's uh, additional reinforcements on the way, she'll let you know. Oh shit! No! Ah, uh, you. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this. I'm not. Damn. Um, you get four revives a day, and uh, as you could obviously guess, it means you just come back. Machine gun! <laughs> oh shit! Wow, they must have they must have done a patch or something cuz that minigun is super inaccurate now. It didn't used to be that bad. It's actually really good. Now, not not all uh, Warframes fight the same. There's some stealthy ones. There's uh, there's one called Ash. It's focused on melee and stealth. So you won't have to get into these gunfights like this if you play him. You can go a little bit more stealthy and take them out before they go to full alert. Because I'm at full alert right now, so they're all aware of exactly fuck where I am. Shit. Ah. Oh. Throwing grenades and shit. Damn it. I am getting messed up really bad. What? Why is my screen going all fuzzy? And you can p you pick up your mods uh, mid mission. That's where you get your mods from. <laughs> like, what's going on? Did I break the? Usually, that only happens if you break a pressure seal.
Wonder what I shot. Huh. Come here. Ah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Man, I am, I am getting messed up. I'm not even getting to show you guys some of the cool stuff you can do because I keep getting pinned down. Don't use this as a full evaluation of the game because there is a lot more cool stuff that you can do with this game. And like I said, it's completely free. So, I mean, if you give it a shot, the worst that'll happen is you say, "Eh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, what the hell." Oh, I did break it. I mean, the most that'll happen is you just say, nah, I don't want to play it, and you're done. You don't lose any money. So, I mean, it is most definitely worth a check out. I've been playing this game a lot. It's been like one of the only games that I've been playing right now. Well, I take that back. Been doing all the Let's Plays. I mean, off the screen. I don't have it turned up too much right now, but the music and everything is really good too. Very intense. Uh, not gonna mess with those guys. Oh, you can uh, you can slide. <laughs> yeah. Their hacking system is pretty straightforward too. It's cool. So if you, uh, uh, come on, get away, uh, get away. I do not like having half shields. It's horse shit. <sighs> These guys, uh, the Grenier, each one of the, there's three main races, the Grenier, the Corpus, and uh, the Infested. The Corpus are like a, they're a weird, a futuristic race that uh, uses, utilizes robots a lot. The Grenier are humans in heavy body armor and I guess what you could call conventional weaponry. And then the Infested are, they're, they're a lot like the Flood, I guess you could call them. Oh, uh, bad move. I just gotta keep moving forward because they're just gonna keep swarming me like this. <laughs> this game is intense. And like I said, you don't always get pinned down like this. I, uh, I'm actually going to dash forward here. Uh, we're going to make a run for it. The exit's right here. Exit's right here. Yeah. No, oh, get off me. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That was rough. <sighs> but yeah, guys, this game is a lot of fun. It's it Like I said, totally free to play. If you want to give it a try, definitely it's through Steam. And, uh, yeah, give it a shot. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You can run off walls. You can run along walls. You can jump off walls. You can climb ledges. You can... The combat system is very dynamic, so it's a, that's a lot of fun, too. All right, guys. So I think that's a pretty thorough look at a game it's called Warframe on Steam. Good stuff. Check it out. Uh, in the meantime, thank you all so much for showing up. I appreciate you all, as always. And stay tuned and stay awesome.